What's going on YouTube? Unhollowed back again with another unboxing video. Uh, today we've got the Asylum Demon expansion for the Dark Souls board game. Um, super excited about this one. This kind of is uh, two mega bosses or two bosses put in one. Uh, you have both the Asylum Demon and the Stray Demon. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the box. Um, I think the art's really cool on the front here. Um, and you got the side view, rear view. So this includes the miniature, the health dial, um, one data card, nine mini boss cards for the Asylum Demon, um, for the behavior cards, and then two treasure cards. And then you got the Stray Demon data card with 13 mega boss behavior cards, um, two treasure cards, four pillar tokens, four level four encounter cards, the Mega Boss game board and the rules. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's break on into this and check it out and see what we got in here. So right off the bat, we've got the uh, the rule book. Um, so obviously, it's got the introduction, kind of talking about the Asylum Demon, uh, a little bit of lore. Um, then it kind of breaks it down on everything that's included. Uh, custom game elements, you got pillars now, which is really cool. You can actually have the Asylum Demon break pillars. Um, that's something I'm going to have to really get into and uh, figure out exactly how that works. Uh, talking about level 4 encounters, the boss tactics, um, and how they work. Um, let's see here. And then you got for the Stray Demon as well. And then here on the end, you got a campaign scenario with five sections. So you start with the Undead Asylum, fight the Asylum Demon as a mini-boss, move on to the Undead Burg, do the Gargoyles, um, move on to Sen's Fortress for the Titanite Demon, Northern Undead Asylum for the Stray Demon Mega-boss, and then you go to Anna Orlando for Ornstein and Smo. Uh, now there's multiple ways that this game can be played. Uh, it can either be played using the campaign scenarios just like this one, um, or it can be played totally custom, however you want to be able to play it. Um, so we're going to stick that off to the side. So here we've got our health dial and uh, what looks like the pillars. Uh, looks like the Asylum Demon has 34 health. Um, so that's pretty neat. Right here we've got the game board. It's not quite as big as the one for the Black Dragon Calamite, um, but it is still a Fairly decent size. Let me get you guys a better angle on the game board here. Um, so there's the game board. There's two sides to it. This is for the level 4 encounters, and then when you flip it over, this is the boss encounter. Uh, so the pillars would go in these four spots right here. That much I do know. Um, and bosses to play, be placed right there. Um, looks like there's... You got an entrance right here. Just like in the uh, video game, you got the, the gate that opens up over here, and then this out to the exit. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, eventually I'll be doing some playthroughs uh, for you guys, that way you guys can see how this works. Um, so starting with the cards, we looks like we've got our treasure cards here. Um, let's take a look at what we got. <clears throat> so we've got the... Uh, Demon's Great Hammer. Oh, let me get it focused here. Again, sorry about the quality, guys. I am using my phone, um, so I do apologize. The Big Pilgrim's Key. You may place this character, or uh, you may place this character on any entry node. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you got a couple of them. Oh, okay, so it's got different languages in here. So obviously, this is the Ameri or the English card, and then you got ones for different languages. Um, you got a Titanite slab, uh, you got a slab, that's actually kind of cool, but it's not much different from the, uh, it's not, in fact, it's not even different at all from the, uh, Titanite shards. Um, ooh, Homeward Bones, Th those are new, so those weren't included in anything else, and then we're back down to the, uh, the language cards. Um, so let's stick those off to the side, let's check out the data cards. Um, so obviously these cards, one card is going to represent the scenarios, um, including boss health and everything. 
So looking at the card here, he's going to have a behavior deck of four different moves. His heat up's at 16. He's only got one physical and one magic resistance, 34 health. Um, he would be played with three level one scenarios and one level two scenario. Um, he does have Pillars of Woe, which means he smashes through pillars to deadly effect. Um, and then you have his moves. Looks like it's starting with the different languages here. Um, here we go. So he's got his Hammer Drive. It looks like it does some stagger damage. His Leaping Hammer Smash. Uh, repeat, retreating Sweep. Uh, ground and Pound. I'm kind of curious as to what that symbol is. I'll have to be looking into that a little bit more. Um, let's see. I wonder if it has anything to do with uh, breaking the pillars. Because I do know that the pillars can be broken. And then we're just getting into the uh, the other language cards. Um, looks like we got a couple scenario cards in here as well. These are going to be the level 4 scenarios. Um, so let's see here. Looks like... You got two of them right here that do require additional um, expansions. So like the Asylum's North Hall, you got to have the Explorer's Expansion and the Dark Root Expansion. I do have the Explorer's Expansion, but not quite the Dark Root Expansion yet. So I will not be able to play this scenario, uh, this in uh, particular encounter quite yet. Uh, this one looks like it requires just the Iron Keep Expansion, which I do have, so I could run that. Um, and then the other two are just played with the base game. So as you can see, the level 4 encounters actually have a lot more different kinds of uh, nodes to it. Normally there's just two different types of nodes, which are the top two that you see right here. Those are the basic nodes for enemy placements. There's two different ones here, and then it looks like you got a couple more um, nodes for the objects, like barrels and tombstones. Um... This right down here represents traps, so this would be a trapped scenario. Uh, the level 4 encounters are actually used on the uh, the backside of the boss encounter tile. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's going to add a whole lot of a lot, whole lot more content to the game, really. Um, let's move on to the model here. Let's see if we can get this popped on out. So it looks like this one also does require a little bit of assembly. Um, he's actually smaller than I thought he was going to be. Uh, when you look at the Calamite, I mean, that one's just absolutely massive, but respectably, um, as it should be. But the tail would just pop straight in, just like the wings would on the uh, on Calamite there. Um, so yeah, here's the <clears throat> Asylum Demon. Let me see if I can get it into focus here. Let's see. Here, let me try something else here. There we go. Now you can really see some of that detail. Way cool. Way, way cool. Um, so yeah, there you have it, guys. There's the unboxing for the Asylum Demon slash Stray Demon. This is uh, two bosses put into one, um, so I think that's really cool, guys. Um, so again, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll have another unboxing video coming on Monday. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want uh, notifications, make sure you hit that bell button. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one.